Hello YouTube, this is the second of my sort of new tutorial series type thing and in this one I'm going to go over the basics of orbiting. So now you've got your rocket into orbit, this is continuing straight off from where we left off in the last one I actually made, which was on getting into an orbit, a reasonably circular orbit. Now we're going to learn about different things we can do while we're in orbit, different types of burns to change how our orbit looks. So at the moment we're in a pretty much equatorial orbit, which means our orbit's going around the equator of Kerbin. So we can change this by either burning upwards or downwards, so north or south in this case. But if our orbit was going north to south, then we'd have to burn east or west. You sort of burn at 90 degrees to where your orbit is to change it. You don't have to burn exactly 90 degrees, but that's the basic idea. The other thing you can change about your orbit is the distance away that different parts are. So for example, if I want to change where uh, the part of my orbit that's over here is, um, on the left side of my orbit, so you can see it, then I'd go to the right hand side of my orbit, as you can see it, and then I'd burn prograde or speed up, because that's going to push the opposite part of my orbit away from Kerbin. It's going to increase the altitude of that part of my orbit. So if we look now, and I burn, you'll see that part of my orbit has gotten further away from Kerbin. And it's actually become my apoapsis, which is, as I said in the last video, the highest predicted point in my orbit. Now, what if I want to make a circle orbit? Well, I can either go to my periapsis and burn retrograde or slow myself down to bring this further in, because the periapsis and apoapsis are always opposite each other, or I can go to my apoapsis and burn prograde to increase my periapsis, or push it away from Kerbin. So I'm going to do the latter of those two things. Um, because I'd like an orbit that's a bit higher rather than one that's a bit lower. And if we look now, I'll just time warp a little bit more, and we get to our apoapsis. And there we go, I'm actually pointing retrograde already, which is the green circle with the cross through it on the navpole. So I need to turn around a bit um, with W, A, S, and D, so that I can burn the other way. I'm just going to try and do this as accurately as I can. And there we go. Our orbit's pretty much circular now, 5 kilometers out on the apoapsis, but it's not too bad. So what else can you do? As I said, you can either you can change what's called the inclination of your orbit, which is how inclined it is, which you know why it's why it's called that. So let's say I want to push our orbit up a little bit. I can do that by uh, burning north, and you'll see my orbit starts to tilt up. This will also have some kind of effect on your apoapsis and periapsis, but uh, it shouldn't be too much. And you may you may have to make a, some small adjustments after you make your inclination change. A good way to learn all this kind of thing is to play about with maneuver nodes. So this is a maneuver node here. You can create one just by clicking on your orbit, hitting add maneuver, and then they appear. You can move them about by dragging the sort of center circle, and then you can do all the different types of changes to your orbit that you'd want to do. So the first thing I'll say is the inclination tools. That's the uh, purple or pink um, nodes on the maneuver. So you can move them about just by dragging them. You can also make finer adjustments by pushing the opposite one inwards. So instead of pulling this one out, I can push this one in and it makes the same adjustment, but it makes it to a finer adjustment, essentially. The other things, as you've seen already, is prograde and retrograde. So I can make my orbit bigger or smaller. And the other thing, which I haven't showed you or explained yet, is burning like in this direction. And this is essentially a way to sort of increase or decrease your periapsis um, in relative to each other, you know, it's sort of, so if you burn in this way, this isn't that good an example, but you can sort of adjust the, um, I can't remember what the right word for it is, but there's a very complicated word for it, but basically you can see what it does, it's quite simple, and, um, you know, by doing this I can either decrease or increase my periapsis or ap apoapsis, and it's useful in some situations, but the ones you would want to use most of the time are prograde, retrograde, and the two other nodes which you use to change your inclination. So how to use maneuver nodes? Well, let's say I put one down here and I want to get my inclination back to normal, so something around that. Then uh, by the way you can click on the moon if you're in the Kerbin system to check your inclination and see there it says it's going to be about 4.3 degrees so I need to go and um, I need to adjust it a little bit but it's not too big a deal. 
Uh, so, what you can also do, let's say I want to increase my Apple Apps, so I want to burn out a little bit like this. So if I want to do that, I can set up a maneuver to do that, and then it says the burn's going to take 23 seconds, and I want to spread out my burn across this node. Um, so I need to burn around, well, it's 11 and a half seconds before the node, so about now. And I want to point towards this blue marker here, which is the direction the node says I should point in. Now I need to burn away all of this delta V, as it's called, and uh, you'll see this meter going down. Basically, once that meter's down at the bottom, you're finished making the burn, and your orbit should look fairly similar to the orbit that you set up with the maneuver node. As it gets a bit closer to zero, you may want to reduce your throttle a bit, so that you can make um, some finer adjustments, because it will take a lot less, um, and the f um, little node there, the blue node that I've just gotten rid of, will actually get a bit fidgety. Anyway, there you go. That's how you can adjust your orbit in Kerbal Space Program. I hope the video helped you. If it did, then feel free to give it a thumbs up or a favorite, because that helps me. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.